Hello, my babies. How the heck are you? Hmm. Oh, thinking about love, are we? Cool. Great. Listen, I miss you. I'm so sorry that my channel's been such a wreck, and I am dedicated to loving on you more. So, if you're new here, subscribe. I need you. Okay? <laughs> if you're here, I appreciate you for being here. I need you. You guys are so wonderful, and I flip and appreciate all of you so much. I hope that you are well. There are videos for all of you. Pisces is currently uploading, so it's happening, okay? Um, for Mercury Retrograde in the month of September. Check that out. Check your placements. Feel free to cross-watch responsibly. Thank you. Um do like leave feedback it really helps my channel it helps other people that need the message find it you know i'm different okay and if you don't know that you are about to find that out also i don't know it's just like weird it's mercury retrograde there's like a pisces full moon everything's fantastic i hope you guys are doing fantastic i think that's really all i have as an update so this week, this week, this week, we're into the week, I'm putting out a thing, really, honestly, it's like a, maybe I should just time list this one, huh, like, if when you find it, you find it, and then we'll get back on our Sunday recording, I will be putting element videos out, however, expect them to be real weird, <laughs> okay, expect them to be, like, maybe, like, one here, one here, one here, and we'll get back on schedule, okay, I... Like I said, I'm just feeling really called to put a little bit more TLC into my channel. King of Wands, that's exactly it. Mm -hmm. You guys are forgiving. Spirit said that you think I'm great and I'll be all right. <laughs> With that said, let's look into your reading. Let's see what the hecking heck is happening. Pisces, I see you. These are both your energies, by the way. Hey, man. Hi, Priestess. Hold up. Wait a minute. Put a little intuition in it. The star, Aquarius energy. I'm literally hysterical. Judgment in the reverse. Oh my god. Spirit's shaking you. Pisces, don't you see? I don't know why I just said Pisces. Maybe because I was just recording them. It's in all signs. Maybe you have that in your chart or are dealing with one. Um, collective, don't you see? <laughs> this is your destiny. Your destiny, Lorraine. Okay, listen, stop avoiding it. You have to. You literally have to. This is how you avoid repeating a cycle, okay? You pause. You take this pause. You surrender. You see things for what they are. You understand the higher purpose, the soul path, the soul purpose, the soul contract, okay? Something that cannot continue how it was. I'm almost ready to just fucking clarify this. We're about to do a whole different spread this week. I'm so down. Yeah, conversations coming. Fast moving energy. Oh, I am so about this right now. I'm pumped. I love when the divine's like, we're doing things differently. And look what I found today. You think I'm fucking around? Not today? Not today. <laughs> Tell me about this high priestess, please. The high priestess. I'm also getting two, two, two. Okay. The chariot in the reverse, cancer energy. Something's blocked from what we wanted. Okay. We know that the cycle has to be closed. Mm hmm. Interesting. You intuitively feel like you have to be quiet right now or not speak or tell somebody something. And it's because I suspect of this. Because maybe what you're feeling intuitively, you need to almost like uh, double check before I say that shit. You know, think twice before speaking. Or you're preparing yourself. That's even like a hibernating energy too. Just intuitively knowing, like, I need to step back and tune everyone else out so I can connect with myself deeply. Some of you might be going on a spiritual retreat, taking a little vacay, perhaps. Energy is about to pick up. What you put your thoughts into, your time into, what intent, I'm getting intent heavily, okay? We might get the magician show up. Ace of Swords. Um, your truth, your clarity, again, your focus into is what will come and it's coming tell me more about the hangman hey, 
the death in the reverse Scorpio energy uh, why can't this cycle close why hmm I've walked away I'm moving towards I'm getting light or just going with the momentum almost that like what's that thing that like drags you along in the airport like an L not the escalator but straight you know, anyway whatever it's that the Hierophant, the High Priestess's Divine Counterpart, and Eight of Pentacles. Oh my god. I don't want to do this reading. <laughs> Spirit said, you literally are spiritually married to this situation. It's a 5D thing. That's probably got you real fucked up in your 3D with the hangman in between it. Oh my god. Let's finish pulling the second layer of this. We're gonna go another layer deep. This is cool. I might start pulling like this. I usually rely on a Celtic cross spread. I, you guys don't care. Whatever. The star. Aquarius energy. Our divine wish. The world. You have to become a higher version of yourself or evolve into this next version of yourself. It requires the best version of yourself. I'm also getting vulnerability or something has to be exposed. Four of Wands. Oh my God. The Ace of Wands in the reverse. How have we been blocking our own stability our own four of wands it's the 11 11 card divine union our foundation what we build upon how have we been blocking that remember i didn't i pick up some self-destruction earlier the devil in the reverse wow how have we been blocking that when again we've been turning away from what isn't meant for us we're moving towards the light spirit is saying that was all part of it. Something about accepting adversity is here. And I'm curious to see what this judgment in the reverse is saying. It's heartbreaking because you can't go back. Yeah. It can't be how it was. Some of you are really holding on to your past. It'll never be the same. Even if this was a divine love union that's coming up for you guys in the energy this week, um, it can't be how it was. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, it's forever changed. And it has to. It has to change. I feel like I need to read something to you guys. So you might want to skip for like 30 seconds or something. I specifically want to look up judgment in the reverse. I don't know why, but I feel like I have to. I'm missing something. I'm not getting something, says spirit. Or maybe some of you just need a message that I can't phrase correctly. Judgment tarot. Should we use Biddy? Let's use Biddy. Good old Biddy. Hmm. Ignoring the call. <gasps> Stop it. Stop it. Is that what that is? The phrase? That just might be it. You're ignoring the call. Knock it the F-bomb off. Uh, okay. Judgment in reverse calls for a period of reflection and self-evaluation. Right. Because we're usually running from it. Uh, through meditation and quiet contemplation, you may arrive at a deep understanding of the universal themes um, weaving throughout your life and what you can or can't do to change to avoid these situations. You may have kept them secret or hidden because you fear how others may judge you. Work on your self-forgiveness, self-acceptance, self-love, and release and freedom. Yeah, I really think that it was the phrase ignoring the call. It's right next to the stuff soul path you're being called step up to the plate until you understand it's a calling
that's the thing though. I feel like I'm speaking to a collective that does know it's a calling, but maybe doesn't know how to acclimate it into the 3D, how to bring it the inside out, how to paint the world with their soul. Like that's very <laughs> intense, but that's what it is. It's like, I have all of this within me. I have this destiny within me. And either you're afraid of judgment or you don't know how the next step to take. Let's go a layer deeper. I want to talk about this judgment in the reverse right away. We'll go counterclockwise, I guess. You. Okay. Okay. You're outside of yourself. You may be in like the healthiest, most beautiful relationship of your life. Okay. And you might just be like baby, what do you think I should do about this? Er, wrong. That's ignoring the call. It has to be you. You literally can't take other people's considerations into it. It has to be so silent within you, you hear the drop of a pin in your soul. I, uh, I don't know why. Maybe for a lot of you, you've been persuaded or guilt, shame. Like it's that dance, like no one's watching energy. It can't be like, oh, but I know I'm, being watched no 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 nine of cups in the reverse you'll never get it it has to be for you i'm very much get be the main character of your life answer the call it might be an actual call pick up the phone right whatever that means um dang i don't know why this just was here that's a referral for me like you had to ask permission or be encouraged like a ticket to connect you. Something's gonna come in from this hangman. That's what you need. You need like a referral to get here. You wouldn't know how to do it otherwise or you don't have the authority, right? It wouldn't be approved without a referral. The divine's your referral. They're like, uh, hello, the devil in the reverse, thank you. That's your referral. That's your report card. Look, I made honor roll, mom and dad. Put it on the fridge. That's what that is. You have the referral. Go make the appointment. Hmm. Ace of Cups on the bottom. Can I tell you guys something? Some divine union just got blessed by God himself. <laughs> you have my blessing. That is what it is. It's asking like a father's hand in marriage. That is the energy. I can't marry the girl until I get the permission. That is the energy, okay? I don't, maybe that's one person's story, but apply it. It might be a job, right? Like it's, you need the divine seal of approval, right? It has to be notarized, okay? Five of cups. No, 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 you're trying to sneak in some F-bomb shit. <laughs> mm -mm. You're trying to be like, yeah, I have this referral. But it's about to pass. And then it's like you're calling a doctor, telling them about like all the other um, places that wouldn't give you the referral or something. It's like, that's not necessary. We don't need that information. It's irrelevant to what we're focusing on now. Okay. You got to let it go. You have to make room. Make room, room, room for what this referral is bringing in for you. Clean. Yeah. See, five, five. Change is coming. Mm hmm Like it or not. And it looks like you will. It's releasing old fucking pain. You so you should like it. <laughs> Tell me about the devil in the reverse, please. Again, here's your receipt. That's come up in like, I don't know, the last like three, four weeks. Here's your receipt. Here's your receipt. Seven pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, because you fucking died. Ego death, right? Ten of pentacles in the reverse, clarifying the devil in the reverse. I was addicted to something. My happiness relied. It could have been money, gambling, sex, heroin, whatever. Okay, toxic shit. And I looked at that as my happiness and I had no clue. That's not what mattered. Death. <laughs> Subscribe. Book your personal soon. Before I have like a two year wait list, so. <laughs> I have a referral from a, the divine. See? 
The star. I'm not fucking kidding, and you shouldn't be either. Go through ego death and you can have exactly what you want. I'm not even trying to stretch this reading. I don't need to. This reading will be seen by exactly who it needs to be seen by. I'm not even stressing it. Judgment in the reverse. That's what I'm saying. Answer the fucking call. Mm -hmm. Stop trying to pretend like you can be who you were, hiding who you were, associating with old people. Mm -mm. Rise up to meet me. Answer the call. That's what I'm getting. I do want to pull an oracle. Let's pull advice in an oracle. Okay. But that, I'm sorry. To end on death in the star. <laughs> I wish I was better. I wish I was a, a better reader right now so I could explain how the divine is not fucking around right now. Things are going to change. Scorpio Aquarius energy. You overcame something many souls take lifetimes for. Star, star. It was literally written in the stars, as above, so below. Stop. I'm three layers into your shadow right now. This is the foundation, as above, so below. What did I say? Bring the 5D into the 3D. I, oh my God. I can't believe I almost didn't do this reading. I almost stopped recording, for real. I was like, I don't wanna fucking do this reading. <laughs> I'm so grateful I did. Let's pull some advice and do an oracle. Holy cannoli manoli, but normally. Are you one of the chosen ones? Let me know down below. Virgo energy, eight of swords in the reverse, five of pentacles in the reverse. We are not hiding anymore. We planted ourselves, we watered ourselves, and now we have grown. You're like the tallest fucking flower ever. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna cry because I'm like so excited for all of us. Have we not been waiting for this? Like, I'm sorry. I'm going to take a fucking minute. I have been working so fucking hard for everything that's happening in my life right now. Thank you very much. And it's more. 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 Stop feeling like you don't deserve it. You know it's within you. It was written for you. Holy shit. It's not about you losing it. If you've been nervous that you're going to lose something, not a second. Nope. Only your ego death. That's what you lost. You lost your ego. You went through it. Let's be honest. Okay? We don't even have to go back that far anymore. That's how far you've made it. That's the group of people that I am speaking to. I might not even like tag this like I usually do too because it's specific. Starseed. Oracle, please. Spirits. Mm, a divine feminine one too. Hold on. Okay. The joy of her meted mother. I don't even know what that means. I'm really sorry. I am my own guru. I know this self never changes. Okay. Isis, the goddess of magic. Sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to feel good. We got two. We got two. Multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. Lost land, soul memories and gifts, you've done this before. I'm doing that one, wow. Lost lands. 90, the month of September, here we are. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The world is far more ancient than our documented history suggests. As souls, many of us have experienced ancient eras of this planet that were much more advanced than ours today. As we begin to remember these times, the rememberings and gifts can come flooding back. Didn't I say that there are souls that go through this lifetime doing what you did? Yeah. It's your lifetime to figure it the fuck out. Congrats, old soul, ba old soul baby. At this stage in Earth's timeline, we need the wisdom of the ancients to survive as a species. You're being called to connect with the lost wisdom of your own soul. If you feel guided to make a change in your life, to step into a new career path, birth a creation, I have chills, or bring an idea to life but feel unprepared, this card is calling you to consider that you've done this before. Oh my god. 
I literally cannot. Oh, perhaps your soul has wisdom beyond what your lifespan can imagine. Perhaps the intuitive hits and ideas you've been receiving are divinely guided. Perhaps you've been preparing for this time. Something that lost souls exist in the past. Others believe they exist today in a different dimension. I believe these ancient lands also exist in the souls of those who experience them. If this card comes to you, perhaps the wisdom of the lost lands such as Lemuria, Atlas, and Avalon exists within you. And through surrendering to the intelligence of your soul, you can unlock the seeds of these ancient lands so we can all learn from our mistakes and usher in a new age. I need to read the other one too. I can't not. So if you want to close out, um, that's cool. But for those of you that are interested, here we go. Number 50, the month of May, 5, 9, 14, January 4th, the 14th. Okay. Now I lost my spot. 50, right. Flowers don't open and close according to who walks by. They embrace all of what they are and show it to the world around them. The peony doesn't try to compete with the cherry blossom and the cherry blossom doesn't try to compete with the tulip. Their own, they own what they are and they trust the timing of their true nature. You're being called to do the same. It's time to open up yourself to being seen time to share your incredible multifaceted true nature with the world around you to uncover and reveal your soul's greatest gifts without wavering to own your uniqueness without apology there's a flower on this planet that holds the same qualities that your soul is readying itself to express let it inform you you may have been taught that it's safer to keep your light hidden and your voice small to hide behind the bushes instead of growing tall did I not just use that analogy in our reading? Thank you. The courageous peony is here to remind you that it's safe to embody all of who you truly are. It's safe to share your voice and let yourself be seen. At first, it may feel uncomfortable and you may be afraid of what others think. <laughs> I'm so glad I read this one, but with each passing day, it does become easier. Little by little, you realize that it draws in those who are meant for you and experiences you've been longing for arrive at your feet. No fucking shit. Oh my God. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you guys get like a natural friggin' high off life vibe as I just did from this reading. So much love for you. Keep an eye out for the element videos. Please do check your sign videos. It helps me, my channel. Comment down below. Celebrate with me. I'm celebrating you. Check out my TikTok. Put in a reading for me before I become like a really big deal. And be kind to yourself. I love you tremendously. Be good. Bye.